Hey guys, talking to you from the studio about my new painting, Canal Quiet. The way I began this painting was starting with an old painting, uh, a fully finished painting. I even had it varnished, everything. Um, and I just was not happy with it. I didn't like the brushwork. I didn't like the colors I used. I didn't like the layout. Nothing about it worked. So here's a picture of it. So because I didn't want to waste a canvas and I was really frustrated that I created a bad painting, I gessoed over the whole thing, leaving a little bit of the underpainting showing through. Okay, so next will be a picture of the piece that I used for my inspiration, the picture that I took along the canal. It wasn't a sunny day, but it was it had a lot of really nice cool and warm tones. It was a very subtly beautiful day and I wanted to capture that kind of a look. So what you'll see on this picture is I laid it out in a grid pattern over top, and I do this with all of my pictures that I'm gonna paint. It just helps as a guide for proportion, it helps as a guide for layout, and it also, in art theory, your eye typically goes to where the lines intersect, and it, it makes for a really nice composition if you pay attention to those little intersection points. It guides the viewer's eye around the piece. So here's a picture of that. So here's a little video of it, all sped up, so you can see it as it was happening, and I hope you enjoy. So here's the finished piece, Canal Quiet, and just like its title, it's got a quiet presence to it. There's a lot of things going on in this painting that you don't see unless you look up close. There's a lot of brushwork, there's a lot of layering, there's a lot of things happening that are sort of in the background, and the intention is that the viewer gets to fill in those areas with their own imagination. Hope you enjoy. 